high school rivalry going too far in Tempe in a basketball game ends with pepper spray by police on several students. A student at Tempe's Corona del Sol sharing these photos with us. You can see hundreds of students and dozens of police in the parking lot following Wednesday night's game against Marcos Teniza. ABC 15's Angie Holdsworth is live at Corona. And Angie, seems like it was a very tense situation out there. Yeah, absolutely. You know, when police say they arrived, that there were about 400 kids all gathered in the parking lot directly following a very heated game. A large crowd of kids, as police say a fight was about to break out. The battle on the basketball court between Corona del Sol and Marcos Denitza taking a potentially ugly turn off the court. It's always been like that, and like during the game, you could just feel the hostility. And it was just like that from the beginning, and then like after the game. It, this always happens between our schools. Police say the kids refused to disperse. When a water bottle was thrown at an administrator, police say the scene became more aggressive, and that's when they pepper sprayed several kids, a school security guard getting hit in the process. I think it could have been a lot worse, but it's a little scary. I'm told the rivalry between the schools date back at least a good 10 years. It's been going on and off for a long time. It's, it's getting worse. I mean, they've had to have, they had three or four police cars here and they had two fire trucks. The students tell me this is not the norm and not an indication of a serious problem between the schools. It is getting uglier, but it's fun. However, the consequences are serious. Several people had to be treated at the scene after being sprayed. At least one student is facing disciplinary action and one student could even face charges. And I spoke with school district officials about this, and it turns out that the principals of both schools ended up sending out a letter jointly, basically letting parents know what happened, and the district says they're definitely looking into this to make sure they can defuse these types of incidents in the future, Steve. And with hundreds of people out right, there, Angie, you. it's like the, the situation changes so quickly, so we understand exactly. uh, what had happened out there. Thank you for keeping us updated, and all the parents as well.